A possible breakthrough offers new hope this morning in battling diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Scientists use cloning techniques to create stem cells from the skin of two adult men. The advancement could one day fight a wide range of conditions. Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Tell us exactly what they did. Well, 18 years ago, scientists took DNA from one sheep and put it into the uh, egg of a second sheep and then grew it to an embryo and put it into a third sheep and Dolly was born. And so the idea of cloning a sheep, well, for the last 18 years, we've tried to do that and create stem cells from humans. Well, a year ago, it was done in infants and now for the first time from the skin cells of a 35-year-old man and a 75-year-old man, DNA was taken and put it into donor eggs from women, and then those were grown into embryos. And some of the cells from the inside can be taken and put into and created embryonic stem cell lines, which have the potential over time of changing some of the diseases of aging. So what's the significance of the adult DNA? Well, the significance is as we all get older, diseases happen. There can be a stroke, problems with the heart, liver, et cetera. And now we can actually have the potential of creating personalized stem cells, taking your DNA, fusing them with an egg from a woman, and then actually creating cells that can repair these diseases. It's not scalable. Taking eggs from a donor woman has obviously significant side effects potential for the woman. So this is the beginning, but it really shows the potential for stem cells. And who do we think this could benefit? Well, it's going to benefit people with advanced diseases. So when you look at the diseases of heart, liver, stroke, Alzheimer's, all of those could potentially benefit from this technology. It's still early, but there's a glimmer of hope that this may radically change disease. You know, there are a hundred different or about a hundred different kinds of immune systems. So potentially you could create a hundred drugs of cell lines for individuals that could change these diseases. Does this lead inevitably to the day that a human being can be cloned? Well, I hope not. The UN uh, declared that it shouldn't be done several years ago. It is not presently illegal in the United States, but it's an issue that we need to face. Dr. David Davis, thanks.